Uh, we have uh, the pleasure of uh, our next uh, presentation. Um, uh, so, uh, uh, okay, so we're moving on to the uh, Malawi uh, experience and uh, my list is a little different from this. So we will be having uh, Gersian Massa uh, as our next presenter and uh, also uh, uh, Timothy Matanga. Welcome. Hello. Good afternoon. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Yes, I'm Gretchen Massa. I'm working as a director for uh, the Longway Institute of Orthopedic and Neurosurgery at Kamusent Hospital in Malawi. And the um, equipment and the COVID on the issue of um, uh, biomed perspective. Yeah. So in Malawi, we, have, we are privileged to have uh, an oxygen plant, a new oxygen plant uh, due to the COVID this year. So we also, as a biomed, we also played a big role in terms of the installation and the training of the, uh, 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 the, uh, the gas plant. At the same time, uh, we also facilitated uh, to improve the quality of health services during the COVID through health care technology. And the, the plant was sponsored by uh, UNICEF and the Malawi government. Gracian, please proceed as In quickly. line of supporting uh, uh, biomedical equipment. It's a line of supporting biomedical equipment in Malawi. Uh, is a support equipment for neonatal equipment. But again, what we are saying is with the COVID, that training also helped quite a lot in terms of for the same equipment we use in the isolation center, for example, oxygen concentrator and oxygen steering. That's so that training, apart from it, 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 it was focusing in Yonento, but at the same time, we also benefited as the as, as hospital since we are also training for medical technicians in our, uh, our, our work environment. And again, for the future plans, what we are saying is there is also ongoing training um, um, uh, supported by Operation Smile, but the training is online. Um, it's uh, through Medical Aid in, uh, Academy from U US. So they're also supporting biomedical technicians. And again, on our way, also had some challenges in terms of um, uh, uh, on the biomedical perspective. <laughs> for example, procurement process for the oxygen plant. It was procured, but at the same time, we, we had some accessories, for example, oxygen prometer, and again, the durability of uh, humidifier bottles. And again, some challenges uh, we had was regarding the spare parts for oxygen concentrators. At the same time, with technical skills, uh, on our part, we are not well uh, conversant with the PSR plant, and we had a breakdown of the PSR plant, and we had to recall an engineer from South Africa. So it's Africa by then, there was a lockdown, so it was an issue whereby for an engineer to come here. So there's really an issue of empowering the local biomet. At the same time, we also had some challenges in terms of infection prevention, whereby I think the dilution of chlorine, it's also having an impact on some of the equipment. In conclusion, I think uh, we need to do more. Uh, in terms of um, uh, biomedical uh, engineering perspective, at the same time, we also need to invest more on the research and development so that um, more local biomedical technicians are able um, uh, to do things, to produce things locally within the country. Again, we are also uh, encouraging engineering world health uh, support in terms of the board so that we are also able um, uh, as a country with the local technicians to um, uh, fix some boards and come up with our own local boards. And um, what we are saying is well-trained and equipped technicians means equipment keeps working, treatment keeps going, and the patient keeps improving, which is a plus. Um, Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. And thank you for your patience in working through the challenges that uh, we, we, we have uh, in communication uh, and for your excellent work uh, in uh, the oxygen uh, systems. Uh, 